time wise it, it takes a lot of time it takes me so i leave at eight and i'm not home till around nine um, sometimes a little later todd shipper and his wife like many other parents have little time to waste the morning routine is down to seconds getting their three kids ready for school and out the door before rushing to work he drops off the two youngest for his high schooler, like hundreds of other kids, the big yellow school bus is a lifeline. But come January, Todd's busy morning will get a lot harder. The Flagstaff School District will stop busing high school kids living within city limits and middle and high school students who attend out of boundary or magnet schools. So now I've got to con be concerned about getting my third child to, to school. FUSD Director of Transportation Patrick Fleming says there are multiple reasons for the change. One is a Department of Transportation Safety Regulation investigation. DPS did come up based on a complaint or a report about school buses having more than um, three students to a seat at the middle school and high school level. The other is a lack of bus drivers. Right now, the district is short by about 20. But for parents who can't take their children to school, the school is offering mountain lion bus passes, which students will access and scan on their phones. But this still brings up the question of safety. If it's just a city bus that the kids are riding on, that, that makes me uncomfortable because, you know, where's the security? Shipper works in education and understands the shortage issue. But like many parents, he says his priority is his children, and the move from the district is simply not a realistic solution. But, you know, there still needs to be, <laughs> these things still have to get done, and we, yeah, kids still need to be taken care of. All right, so certainly mm -hmm. uh, a concern for parents here. Yeah. And Mason, uh, are there any other safety measures in place for the students who will be riding on these city buses? Yeah, so there are some safety measures in place. There's a See Say app where people who are riding the bus can report any incidents, and there is also live cameras on every mountain line bus. But the parents I spoke with say that they're concerned that these safety measures are more of an after effect when it comes to these incidents. And overall, they just want more communication from the district when it comes to safety. All right, Mason Cal reporting live in Flagstaff for us. Thank you, Mason.